Well, after the drop points at Bolton, Manchester United won't run the risk of losing further ground on Arsenal. So it was to have been an unchanged team from the side that defeated Fulham. But Owen Hargreaves got injured in the warm-up, so Michael Carrick comes in. With Ronaldo firing on all cylinders, Tevez and Rooney are getting back into their stride after the England man's layoff. And there's not even a rest for Ryan Giggs. The fact that United are already in the knockout phase of the Champions League means United can rest a few in Rome on Wednesday. Paul Jewell's second selection for Derby shows two changes from his first. Gary Teal, who played under Jewell at Wigan, is left out with Craig Fagan returning three days short of his 25th birthday. The introduction of a holding midfielder in Dean Leacock means no place for Steve Howard and a lone striking role for Kenny Miller, Derby's only scorer since the end of August. Final checks from the match official. It's hardly Mayweather in Ricky Hatton's home city for what might be termed a very unequal contest. The Premier League heavyweights of Manchester United against, so far, the lightweights in this division of Derby County. But will it be as easy as it looks on paper? Certainly on the surface, it looks uh, very difficult here. We've seen surface water kicking up from Michael Carrick's early touches and just as Jay McEverly cleared that. The pitch here may well play a part, you know. It's backed by Claude Davis. That was Nemanja Vidic's header. And now Jay McEverly to Dean Leacock. The last thing that Derby will need here is to get United's tails up by gifting them an early goal. And it's a day for defenders to be extra cautious. You're never quite sure whether back passes are going to carry. There's Andy Griffin, Tevez going in to close him down. Edwin van der Sar, who is one of those sometimes rested by the Manchester United manager on days like this. He has been carrying a nagging injury problem. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. Now Wes Brown. The clearance by Leacock. From Kevley away. Anderson just trying to block off Craig Fagan. He does well to retain it, and finds here Andy Griffin. This is Barnes. Now Griffin. Here's Leacock. This is Kenny Miller. Now Stephen Pearson, who started wide. Hit a clear by Rio Ferdinand, finding Wayne Rooney. And are we now to see the first United surge? He bent his run, Tevez, but he didn't quite get it right offside. Well, that was an example there of Derby on the attack and Vakate in the centre of midfield. United win possession, quickly break, and you can see there that Tevez times his run really well. It's a wrong decision, played in by Rooney. Derby with three white shirts there, couldn't stop the run of Tevez, but the linesman, I'm afraid, got that wrong. Well, the movement of these players is so clever, it does deceive even the most experienced of officials, and Bob Pollock there, clearly caught out by the movement of Carlos Tevez. Here's Andy Griffin with the throw for Derby. Now Fagan. He got his cross away, and it's cleared by Wes Brown. This is Jay McEverly. Now Barnes, it's Pearson's ball in, it's cleared by Michael Carrick. Stephen Pearson, the man whose goal got Derby into this division. The question now is, can they stay here? Davis and Moore have come forward from the back. And it's Barnes's corner, which Miller let run, and Carrick concedes another. Well, Derby have yet to score away from home this season and uh, one of the areas you do feel they can cause a problem is set pieces. Two big lads, Moore and Davis, as you mentioned, have gone forward but they need a better service than what they've just got there from Giles Barnes. The quality has got to be good on this second corner. Barnes with the corner again. Van der Sar has to get fists to that. It's McEverly. Rooney looking to break with it and it was a relief for Derby that Fagan managed to hold him off there. Andy Griffin, the last man back. A 
Patrice Ebra, who was substituted through illness on Monday night here against Fulham. I feel like a theatre of dreams on a day like this. Could be a theatre of nightmares for Paul Jewell. Certainly his worst nightmare, perhaps, when he looked at the fixture list on taking over and saw that the second game up was here. Anything from this game, a bonus for the new Derby boss. Lovely drag back from Ronaldo, this is Wes Brown. United getting into their stride with Anderson. Moore turns it behind for the corner. We saw a glimpse there of the delightful football United are capable of playing. Great interchange between Brown and a lovely back heel from Ronaldo. And Anderson making a typical surging run from the centre of the park. Ryan Giggs with a corner. Ferdinand heading it away from goal. Well, certainly Ferdinand makes the run and gets away in front of Darren Moore. Just gets a little bit too much purchase on the header. Obviously a planned move that. The corner played into that near post area from Ryan Giggs. And Real Fern will be slightly disappointed that he didn't make better use of that corner. Header on by Kenny Miller. Here's Ferdinand. Now Anderson. Wayne Rooney Rooney appealing that there was use of the hand Here's Oakley Now Fagan Leacock In. Way by Vidic, back by Pearson. Now Leacock. Griffin just trying to slide in Craig Fagan, but Ever had that run covered. Cleared by Vidic. Moore just held off a little. Davis. Got it back, but uh, Tevez caught Darren Moore then. Well, Claude Davis was quick to uh, cover around for his central defensive partner because Darren Moore got caught in possession. But that's clearly a foul from behind by Tevez on Darren Moore to relieve a little bit of the pressure. Just a word about Derby. We fully anticipated that uh, Giles Barnes would play on the left hand side in a five man midfield, but he's actually playing just in off the front. Pearson's operating on the left-hand side of midfield. Vidic concedes the throw. Griffin to take. Now Barnes. Griffin's ball in, cleared by Vidic. Clear use of the hand by Anderson. And here's Giles Barnes with a free kick. Well, a stolen march, ever got it away. Very far away from Leacock, who stuck out a hopeful leg, kept in there by Ronaldo. Here's Griffin. McEvely. Jay McEvely turning away from Ronaldo. Not the ball that Kenny Miller desired. Ferdinand 
Where's Brown? Carrick. There's Ronaldo. Michael Carrick, who wasn't expecting to start today. He was left out of the initial starting lineup, but the injury to Owen Hargreaves meant a late call up. Here's Ebra. Now Tevez. Ebra given license to get forward. Rooney. Once again, another little giving go between Evra and Tevez. One touch football. Evra gets in behind. Delivers it early to the near post on the volley. Wayne Rooney just trying to help it on. Couldn't direct it towards goal. Hands getting protection against the elements. And Wayne Rooney. It's the feet that need extra protection after the metatarsal problems he's had in recent times. Good news for Manchester United is that he's uh, put his recent injury woes behind him, Wayne Rooney. That uh, partnership with Tevez is looking a very promising one. Leacock, now Kenny Miller. Fagan. Anderson. A bit short for Carrick, Oakley stole it. Here's Pearson, Miller, Barnes. Barnes got his shot away. You never know on a day like this. With the crack from Giles Barnes, you never know if a ball is going to slip from the goalkeeper's grasp. Well, he's more than capable of striking a good ball, Giles Barnes, but on this occasion, being closed down from Anderson, couldn't get sufficient power on his shot. Hits it with his right foot. So takes a slight deflection off Anderson, takes the pace off it. Anderson not to be embarrassed. McEvely just awaiting the move forward of Darren Moore before delivering with this free kick. Which is uh, comfortably cleared by Carrick. McEvely going for it again. Oakley's header. Pearson got in front of Carrick. Space for McEvely to move into. It's Jay McEvely. Again, Van der Sar made sure his body was behind it. I think Derby would be quite pleased the way they've started. Plenty of space in the centre of the park for McEvely to take the ball on a few yards and strike it with his left foot. He would be slightly disappointed he didn't test Van der Sar more than what he did. As we mentioned, it's a difficult service. But you need to strike the ball with more power than what McEvely did. Here's Ronaldo. Danger for Derby from Ronaldo. And he can't finish. Well, Ronaldo had the option of giving it to Ever on his left-hand side. But the kind of form that he's been of late, there was never any suggestion he was going to play it to his left-hand side. Saw the whites of the goalposts, struck the ball, but rather snatched at it. Stephen Bywater just watches that as it goes past his post. Cristiano Ronaldo has scored Manchester United's last five league goals. There's Evra. Stephen Bywater, who's had some horrific experiences on the road this season. He conceded six at Anfield, five at the Emirates. Vidic's header, now Leacock. Anderson's header, now Carrick, this is Tevez. Charged by Leacock, on the ball. Ronaldo, Carrick. Ronaldo. Rooney's touch, and was Gitz fouled, he was, by Davis. Well, Davis pleases innocence, I'm not sure if that was intentional. But it certainly did the trick as it stopped the run of uh, Ryan Giggs. Once again, Ronaldo plays it into the feet of Rooney. He knows exactly what he wants to do with it, trying to pick up the run of Giggs. Well, Davis, having pleaded his innocence, now has to watch and hope, probably pray, with Giggs and Ronaldo showing an interest. Well, 
what weaponry to have from this situation. Ronaldo or Giggs, what a choice. It's Giggs! That's it. Stephen Bywater makes the dive, but I think he was fully aware that the ball was never really going to threaten the goal. Ball. Leacock. Pierce. Kevin has given it away. That's Carrick. He's bent it round. Great idea. Griffin got in the way. His clearance might land for Ronaldo. He's happy to take the corner. That was great vision from Michael Carrick. Trying to play the ball in behind Griffin for Wayne Rooney. In the previous corner, we saw Ryan Giggs playing into the near post area. Plan set piece looking for the run of Real Fernand who actually got his head to it. And a clear by Davis. Fagan hasn't dealt with it. It's Wayne Rooney. Deflected. Over. Excellent block from Darren Moore. But not great defensive work from Craig Fagan on the edge of the box. Miscontrol, then a weak challenge allowing Rooney to get the shot away. And Darren Moore comes out and gets a great block in with his left leg. Moore came to Fagan's aid. And Manchester United are cranking up the pressure here. And Derby having survived the first quarter of an hour. McEverly gets this corner away, that's Carrick back out to Giggs. Lofted in for Vidic. Ferdinand. Vidic again. Davis saw enough of that to clear. Here's Anderson. It's come off more heavily. A bit of a shirt pulling. And Derby have got a free kick. To one and a half dozen of the other? Well, I think the assistant referee didn't actually see Craig Fagan making the initial shirt pull. He saw the second one from Anderson on Fagan and gave a free kick in favour of Derby. Brown. Here's McEvely. Pearson. Now Barnes. Griffin. Just looking down below, Nanny's actually come out to warm up and he's the only sub at this moment who's warming up. I don't know if this is significant. Well, this is normally the kind of game in which uh, Manchester United might contemplate resting Ryan Giggs, but of course the luxury of having already qualified for the Champions League meant that this match took more of a priority. I wonder if they have got another injury concern here. This is Giggs, now Evra. Giggs, isolated by Oakley, past him. The shake off Fagan now. He's pulled it back to Evra. Tevez, Brown, away in the end by Davis. United starting to carry a real air of menace about them. And Pearson's in trouble. Tevez. Take chances, can they? Well, it was a bit of careless play from Stephen Pearson near to his byline. 
giving possession away carelessly to Tevez. And he's got the ball here under control. Safety first, that should be out for a throw in. Loses possession. Uh, Tevez had seen Ronaldo at the far post. Maybe he did. Perhaps the cross was slightly overweighted. But if it had been more precise, that surely would have been number one for United. With Ronaldo in the sort of form that he's been of late. Seven, lost seven against Manchester United as the manager so far for Paul Jewell. Is that record about to change today? Kept by Vidic. It's a toe injury that's been troubling Edwin van der Sar this season. He's been uh, substituted in three of the 18 matches he's played. United going with him today, presumably aware that uh, Thomas Kuszczak will play in the Champions League in midweek. And it looks as though uh, Sir Alec Ferguson will give uh, one or two of United's youngsters the opportunity to get some European experience under their belts. Here's Carrick. Brown. Carrick. Rio Ferdinand. Ronaldo. Struck by Fagan against his own teammate Oakley. It broke for Miller. Won back by Anderson. Tevez slid in well. Finds Evra. Anderson. Attempting to hold him up. Skidditch. Room is headed down. No one in support. Pearson. Barnes. McEverly. Here's Davis. It's on by Carrick. Breaks back off Rooney to Anderson, now Carrick, Tevez, Ronaldo. Rooney, didn't get the return right. Carrick. That's where Miller's got a job to do, as a lone striker, he's got to get a hold of that football when it comes in that area. Here's Giggs. Plays in Ronaldo, Rooney! Well, the Cavalier came across the front of him with an absolutely vital tackle and somehow it stayed out. Anderson, angle too acute. Well, that looked like a goal written all over it from the moment that Kenny Miller lost possession to Vidic. Giggs plays it for Ronaldo, puts it into Wayne Rooney, and you think that's a goal. And what a challenge that was for McEverley. Absolutely top class from the fullback to deny Wayne Rooney the opening goal. Well, Bywater keeping it out in the end, but a player who played alongside Wayne Rooney at schools level in Liverpool, where they grew up together, Jay McEverley, was primarily responsible then for fending him off. The challenge was absolutely outstanding, Rob, but you have to say that Wayne Rooney was favourite when that ball was played in for Ronaldo. And he'll be bitterly disappointed that he didn't get that first touch to put into the empty net. That should have been a goal for United. Oakley. Now Leacock. Moore. Oakley. Anderson. Harry 
get penalised. but uh, the pitch ensures otherwise. Brown's header, Ronaldo. McEverly. Pearson. Barnes. Oakley. Came off Vidic, but awkwardly. We got fortunate there, but it's in it because he stuck a leg out and the ball deflected very kindly into the hands of his goalkeeper. Here's Ferdinand. Oakley went across to close him down. Now Carrick. Evra. Ronaldo. And a free kick out of Leacock. Well, there were complaints there from Leacock and Davis, but um, the quick feet of Ronaldo certainly drew the foul from Lee from Leacock. Well, did he draw the foul? I'm not so sure there was any contact. But he filled me, and uh, I think Ronaldo filled the referee Chris Foy on that occasion. It's a long way out. But that's not likely to deter Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> Bywater stood rooted. Well, I think Bywater thinks this is going to clear the bar by distance. And at the last second, it just watched the dip on this ball. Didn't miss by much. Goalkeeper uh, got away with his judgment in the end, but it did uh, arc significantly. There's Claude Davis's header. Here's Vidic. It's a foul by Barnes. I do feel that the referee, Chris Foy, has taken into consideration very much the conditions because on any other day, I think that would have been the first yellow card of this game. A late challenge from Giles Barnes on Vidic. He was here a month ago, uh, Chris Foy, for Manchester United's win over Blackburn when he, he did send off David Dunn. But he's uh, making a point of explanation here to Craig Fagan. sense that uh, Fagan is now on the last warning. Here's Rio Ferdinand. Tevez. Brown. Ronaldo. Fagan. And jostling with Oakley for possession. Moore got it clear. Now Evra. It's tight for Rooney. Too tight. Play from Giles Barnes, clip the ball over the head of Vidic, forcing the free kick, definite tug of the shirt from Vidic. Giles Barnes took the free kick himself. Barnes's delivery to 
too long for everybody, including uh, Claude Davis. Claude Davis just as Rooney had taken up a position. Here's Tevez, now Carrick. Evra gets there, Rooney. Evra. Cleared by Leacock. Oakley. Michael Carrick, Evra giving chase to try and keep it in, but ultimately in vain. He's not been extended as fully as he might have been by Walter, but this was key. This is the best chance of the game. Nobody in the stadium can quite believe that United don't take the lead here. Rooney thought it was a formality just to put the ball into the back of the net. But he didn't legislate for the challenge of McEverley. Is McEverly given away to Carrick Rooney Davis goes straight into Wayne Rooney and we are going to have the first caution of the game well there have been one or two doubts prior to this about should it have been a yellow card or shouldn't it have been on this occasion it was a straightforward easy decision for Chris Foy blatant obstruction from Claude Davis a sport Wayne Rooney as he just knocks the ball around him into the space just takes him out quite cynical Giggs is Anderson Tevez Griffin. Giggs pulls it across for Wayne Rooney. Cleared by Leacock. Tevez goes for it. Can't convert. Giggs. Away by Oakland. The Derby got away with that. They got caught cold there. Quick thinking from Ryan Giggs. Great vision is from Ryan Giggs, picks out Wayne Rooney, outside his right foot, helps it to the back post. Not a great clearance from Leacock to the feet of Tevez, but he was off balance and couldn't get his shot away on the volley. Well, more than a third of the way through the game and Derby holding their own. Ronaldo Rooney here's Davis Oakley Barnes Because of the surface water on the on the pitch, Rob, the, the ball is not zipping around, and it doesn't uh, really help Manchester United as the home side. They're having to sort of push everything a little bit firmer to get the ball to roll quickly. It's certainly holding up. Well, sometimes these games aren't the walkovers that might be expected. 
remember a few seasons ago when uh, Sunderland, who were then the whipping boys of the Premier League, came here towards the end of the season and under caretaker manager Kevin Ball held out for a nil-nil. A great result for Derby, a nil-nil would be here today. Long way to go yet, though. McKevin. Here's Barnes. Pearson's got into the middle, so too Fagan. Fagan climbs and Pearson. The little hole just in behind the front player, Kenny Miller, is where Giles Barnes is operating. And it's a difficult position for the United player to pick him up, and you do feel that Derby have got to get much more of the ball to him. He picks out Fagan at the back post here, out jumps Evra. And Pearson, who got into the box, was always stretching and couldn't get his left foot volley on target. Evra. Anderson. Good run, and it's Giggs. Anderson, the challenge, Tevez. That's much better attacking play from Manchester United. Great run this from Anderson. Lovely pick out, finds Giggs, who gives it back to Anderson. Good block there from Darren Moore, forced to Tevez with his left foot, trying to direct it into the far corner. Got a little bit too central, but at least Bywater has been forced into a save. Vidic aiming one long for Rooney. Griffin. Moore. Miller. Where's Brown? Now Carrick. Giggs. Back by Fagan to Darren Moore. whose uh, first major cup final as a manager was a Carling Cup defeat to Manchester United. Here's Evra. Anderson. Anderson. Carrick. Anderson, here's Evra, Ronaldo, Fagan gets it clear but it doesn't run to Miller, but it sees to that. Did the first part of the equation well, dispossessing uh, Ronaldo but then should have given it to Oakley, just struck it into an advanced area but gave possession straight back to Manchester United. Nonsense challenge by Griffin, but the referee, who was only a matter of yards away, allows it to run. He didn't feel everyone had been fouled. He's a no-nonsense defender, Andy Griffin. Here's Ronaldo. Running at Griffin, who's got Rooney to worry about as well. Pull back for Wes Brown. Tevez. challenge in the area here's Carrick Tevez more stretching Davis away Tevez managed to get in behind McKevely on that occasion but still Derby keep United at bay Brown on the overlap Tevez looks inside to Carrick Pearson cuts out the return McKevely tries to play his way out of trouble and Giggs nicks it back Leacock, and away in the end by Oakley, but only to Anderson. Just from Ronaldo, Anderson. Here's Evra. 
Faced by Fagan, he's passed him. Ronaldo. Good strike, Giggs! A landmark goal for Ryan Giggs! His 100th in the league for Manchester United! Well, Manchester United, the last five minutes, have really turned up the heat. The goal was coming. As you'd expect, Cristiano Ronaldo very much involved. Everett does well here, gets it behind Fagan. Gets the ball to Ronaldo, who's given a little bit too much space here. He's always wanting to come onto his right foot. Darren Moore has got to get closer to him, allows him to get the shot away. It's a terrific shot. All you can ask for is hit the target. He does that, makes Bywater make the save. And Ryan Giggs anticipated him well follows the ball in and it drops to him and he puts it back into the net to give Manchester United the lead his first Premier League goal here at Old Trafford for some 15 months but for a player who uh, predates the Premier League it's a century in league football and all of his league appearances have occurred for this club Ryan Giggs and that's a magnificent achievement Here's Tevez. Brown. Carrick. Ronaldo. Brown. Here's Evra. Cock. Giggs. Davis hesitated. He's in. Wayne Rooney. No. It was an open invitation, and somehow Rooney passed it up. Ronaldo. Anderson. Away from Rooney this time, but he must still be ruining that last miss. Glorious ball, wasn't it, from Ryan Giggs? Great control from Wayne Rooney in behind Davis. One on one, goes around by water, then just lifts it over the keeper. Back off the upright. And Davis makes the clearance. And he's had two great opportunities this afternoon, Wayne Rooney. Hasn't yet scored, but the threat is always there. Well, a smile after the miss that I'm not sure would have been that wide had United not already made the breakthrough, thanks to Giggs. Tevez left grounded by Moore's challenge, but nothing coming out of that from the referee. Here's Rooney. He was fouled by Moore. I think the first challenge from Big Darren Moore was more of a free kick than the second one. He certainly clattered into Tevez. This is the one on one. Wayne Rooney lifts it over by water. Once again, an opportunity for Ronaldo to test the goalkeeper on this difficult surface. Ronaldo plays it in. Tevez, missed kick, not the second time though, 2-0! Well, just when everyone expected a blockbuster from Cristiano Ronaldo, 
He's filled everyone, including the Derby defence. But that was very poor defending from Derby. They had the opportunity to clear here. Here comes the ball, low trajectory, into the box. This is when it should have been cleared. I think it was Griffin who went to ground. How lucky is Tevez? Air shot, he misses his first opportunity, totally misses the ball. Griffin goes to ground and he gets the second opportunity and he's not going to turn that down. One-on-one -on -one against Bywater with his left foot, plenty of the goal to put it into and Tevez makes it 2-0. After a good first 40 minutes, it all goes pear shape for Paul Jewell in the last five minutes and a half. And there'll be two more minutes, that's what's been added on. Here's Brown. Now Ronaldo. Ferdinand. Vidic. Here's Carrick. Now Brown. Rooney. Back by Carrick. Anderson. Here's Tevez. Ronaldo. And then Griffin. Good defending this from uh, Griffin. Gets his body across Ronaldo. He actually read the intentions of Cristiano Ronaldo. The referee there, realising that Ronaldo was guilty of a little bit of pushing to try and win possession back, gave a free kick, a much-needed free kick to Derby, may I add, to relieve a little bit of pressure just before the half-time interval. Rooney. Away by Leacock. Well, it was all going well for Derby until the last five minutes of the half and Ryan Giggs and Carlos Tevez changed all of that. Giggs racking up his 100th league goal for Manchester United, following up after an initial effort had been palmed away. And then Tevez, after an air shot first time, converted with his second attempt to make it a half-time score of Manchester United 2, Derby 0. It was May 2002 when Derby County last scored a, an away goal in the Premier League. Marvin Robinson, now of uh, Oxford United, got that goal at Sunderland. But they've played eight away games coming to Old Trafford today without managing a goal. Paul Jewell hoping perhaps that his half-time changes in bringing on the former Manchester City trainee Tyrone Mears and more significantly another striker in Steve Howard can alter the course of the game. Well, first half, it was definitely a 4-4-1-1 formation for Derby with uh, Giles Barnes playing as the second striker in behind Kenny Miller. The second half now, as you mentioned, Rob, it's a 4-4-2, a totally new right-sided formation here with Mears on the right as the right full-back, Griffin gone to left-back, and Giles Barnes has come on to the right of midfield. Here's Mears. Now Barnes. Is Mears. Now Giggs. Ryan Giggs, the man who made the all-important breakthrough in the first half. Evra. Rooney climbing. Here's Leacock. On by Miller.
Ferdinand. Here's Ronaldo, now Carrick. Anderson. Rooney's touch. Ronaldo. Headed back by Griffin, who's changed sides as a result of this derby reshuffle. I think Paul Jewell is still getting to know his players. He's only been there a short while. And that's, of course, a problem when you join a club halfway through the season. He won't be totally familiar with all these players. That's why it's ideal when you've got a whole pre-season of six or seven weeks to look at various formations, look at personnel. You can make your decisions knowing full well that in friendly games it's not so important. Howard. Now Kenny Miller. And a free kick. It's Barnes with a cross. Howard. Well, it's a good ball in that from Pearson, deep to the far post and. Uh, Howard finds himself in an ideal position, not having to jump against the two big centre halves, Ferdinand or Vidic, against Evra. It was a free header, possibly should have done a little bit better than what he did. He's not going to have too many chances, is he? So when they do come along, he's got to really make the most of them. Howard yet to score this season. Derby with the worst goal scoring record and the worst defensive record in the Premier League so far. Here's Anderson. Back by Carrick. Anderson. Ronaldo on the chase. That was an example there of the water on the pitch holding the ball up. That was overweighted from Anderson, but it stayed in play because of the surface water. Here's Anderson. Brown. Anderson. In by Tevez. Away by Tyrone Mears. Rooney. Rudy. Giggs looked for a moment as though he was in again then. Slipped away from Davis only to find Griffin coming across to confront him. Well, with Manchester United having a two goal advantage at the start of the second half, they're sending more and more players now into advanced areas. And it does look quite ominous for Derby County. Here's Barnes. Away by Ferdinand to Ryan Giggs. Tevez. Here's Ronaldo. Looking for a free kick and he earns it. Andy Griffin disputing Chris Paul's call to such an extent here he's talked himself into a booking, a needless one. That's ridiculous, isn't it, from Griffin? Whether the referee's right or wrong, he can't go up to the referee and point his finger in his face like he did there. Let's just ask him to be put into the book. And that's exactly what happened to Andy Griffin. The punishment from Pearson's challenge may yet be greater. Ronaldo. And Giggs fancy this. Ronaldo disappointing, but straight back to him. And Griffin blocks him off. The other thing about Griffin's yellow card, he's under real pressure now facing Ronaldo on that side. 
All for a needless yellow card for descent. Here's Giggs with a corner. Ronaldo claimed he was held then by Leacock. The referee just turned away. Evra. Rooney. Evra. Carrick. Vidic. Carrick. Rooney. Brown. Oakley. Here's Griffin. Foul by Vidic. Miller. Back by Pearson to Andy Griffin. Howard. Miller. Given away to Carrick. Tevez. Anderson. Here's Barnes. Oh, that was so off. Suddenly worried by that at the last moment. The bounce. Well, it was a poor shot from uh, Giles Barnes and a poor attempt by Van der Sar at making this save. He's under a little bit of pressure here from uh, Anderson, who tracks back well, having given possession away. But that's a routine save that Van der Sar makes an absolute mess of. Didn't look an especially awkward bounce in front of the goalkeeper, even though he blamed the ground. I think he could have stopped it with his foot. More closing in, Davis is there too. Well, the two big centre-halves there are very much in evidence from this corner. Ball put to the back post from Giles Barnes. Darren Moore wins it, nods it down, hits Davis, and a spectacular overhead kick from the big centre-half results in the ball selling over the crossbar. Well, Davis, who was relegated with Sheffield United after a Carlos Tevez goal here back in May. Not for United on that occasion, but for West Ham. Suffering more misery at Tevez's expense so far today. Well, Ronaldo's disappointed that the referee hasn't given him a free kick. Every time he goes to ground, you know, he expects to be given a free kick. That is fair. 50-50 challenge made by uh, Leek, Leacock, was it? Mears. Here's Vidic. Ferdinand. Tevez. Ronaldo. Giggs. Tevez. Headed back by Oakley. Here's Anderson. Evra. Now Carrick. Giggs. United corner. Does well to win a corner there, Ryan Giggs, despite being confronted by two Derby defenders, Mears and Darren Moore. Trying to put it through the legs of Moore. Made contact with the left leg, wins the corner. Gets the kick, Vidic amongst those climbing, Darren Moore away. Has to slide it away from trouble. Anderson. Clearance by Davis. Tevra. The full here for Pearson, who's got Miller up to his right. It's a heavy initial touch. He's looked for Kenny Miller. That's a forlorn hope.
Giggs. Griffin just aware of Ronaldo's presence. On by Howard. Brown. Rooney. Brown's cross for Ryan Giggs off the post. Well, Howard lucky with Manchester United there. Howard and at the other end, Kenny Miller looking to get in. Ferdinand tries to hold him up, but Miller shoots off target. So nearly 3-0, deep ball to the back post from Brown. Great technique from Giggs. He has enough time to watch it coming over the shoulder of Mears. Gets his technique right with his left foot. But just like first half, and Rooney at the upright. Giggs does the same in the second half. Everett. Oakley. Once again, West Brown in a very high position up on that right hand side. He's been very prominent in the second half as an attacking fullback. Plays the ball into the feet of Tevez. But look at the space he's got. Likos got to get tighter. Makes himself a yard, Tevez, onto his right foot and strikes it across by water into the back of the net. That's his second and United's third. Manchester United home, if not dry, and Carlos Tevez gets his second. And Paul Jewell reacts by making another change. He's brought on Gary Teal. Here's Tevez, Leacock. again Ronaldo Rooney Mears got across Tevez now looking for his hat trick here's Carrick Ronaldo Tevez trying to slip it back into the path of Ronaldo he got caught here's Teal he's come on for Barnes looking for Mears against Ebra. Manchester United set to make a change here. Darren Fletcher is the player coming on and it's Anderson who's coming on. Goals the only thing lacking really for Anderson since his arrival at Manchester United. become established as a firm favourite here Darren Fletcher it's just under half an hour walk back a 
triumphant jog back for Anderson. 19 years of age, was expected to be a bit part player this season, but in view of Paul Scholes' injury, he's had a bigger part to play than might have been anticipated. Well, the luxury of Manchester United's position means that Sir Alec Ferguson can change things without disturbing things too dramatically, and Lewis Sahar still finding his way back to full fitness. He's going to come on as well. Here's Wayne Rooney. Tevez waiting in the middle, hoping for his hat-trick. Goes for that. Cleared by Davis, then by Moore. And now Pearson. Leacock. Mears. Now Teal. Foul by Abra. Manchester United are going to make their substitution and Ryan Giggs, who's marked today by scoring his 100th league goal in a Manchester United shirt, is coming off. And Lewis Sahar, whose two goals this season have both come as a substitute, comes on for what's left here. Oh, yeah, free kick floats past Van der Sar's goal. What a great servant Ryan Giggs has been, eh? Absolutely top class he's been for Manchester United talked about Anderson expecting to be a bit part player this year I think probably Ryan Giggs expected to be a bit part player but he's been a, a regular throughout this season and how good has he been here's Leacock here's Pearson Miller lets it run Evra now Sahar, Fletcher, Tevez, struck the back of Tyrone Mears, this is Rooney, Fletcher, and it's Sahar who's just on. Darren Fletcher does brilliant here, great turn, early ball in onto the chest of Sahar very nearly keeps it under control just goes away from him gives Bywater the chance to make the save Carrick Saha now Tevez here's Ronaldo Davis away Miller Fletcher here's Carrick Evra Moore trying to stay strong against Rooney. I think Evra's entitled to have one or two words there with Wayne Rooney because he's turned blindly when the simpler ball would have just been a little roll back to Evra. He turned into uh, traffic, Wayne Rooney there. 
Miller. Now Griffin. Leacock. Here's Davis. Howard. Fletcher. Sahar. Fletcher. It's Tevez providing this time, but it's cleared by Claude Davis. We saw a great example there of the skill of Lewis Sahar leading the line. Ball played into him. Brilliant turn to get away from his marker. If only he could stay fit, he's such a talent. Tevez with the corner this time, Brown going for it. Away by Darren Moore, Rooney! Off by Griffin. Evra. Ferdinand. Rooney. Again, it did. It's a great take from Wayne Rooney here. Gets himself on the front foot. Just look how he accepts this ball from Real Ferdinand. Lovely take. The option was with 1 2. But he tries to curl it into that far post. Just gets a little bit too much purchase on it. But great idea from Wayne Rooney. been voted Europe's top player but Wayne Rooney's even better than him according to Juan Diego Maradona Rooney without the goal so far to today that his efforts have merited and usually bearing in mind the chances that he has had here's Oakley now Leacock Fletcher. Great ball to Tevez. Taking around Pearson who recovers. Well, there's that much space out there now for Manchester United and so much time. It's all about the selection of pass. Can they play the right ball? Because if they do, they will surely get in for other opportunities to score. It's Brown's cross. Davis away this time. Now Teal. Oh, oh dear. Well, he just felt he had nowhere to go, turned back over, hit it, and Derby making all sorts of problems for themselves. Liverpool to come next for Manchester United. John O'Shea had a big part to play in that fixture last year. It's also been a pretty significant fixture in the Manchester United history of Rio Ferdinand and having taken the captain's armband off Ryan Giggs when he was substituted. No one to hand it to now for Rio Ferdinand, is there? No, the goalkeeper will take it over. Actually, Rio Ferdinand was looking over to the bench hoping that the number wasn't going to go up for him because uh, he's enjoying himself out there. He played a little cameo part this now on the left wing. He was waiting there for the corner to come in from Wayne Rooney, thinking he could score. Rooney's corner means that no one can score immediately, although O'Shea just on picks it up again for United. And here's Ebra. Ronaldo blocked by Moore. Ronaldo. Rooney Ronaldo Sahar Carrick's in here and it'll be kept in by Vidic 
Only cleared to Wayne Rooney. Oh. Well, they're almost toying with them now. Tevez all tangled up. And it's Vidic for the ball to the into the box. Mears flicks it on. Wayne Rooney clips it into that back post area again. Well, I'm not sure exactly who touched that, or did anyone touch it? Might have a clearer view here. Well, it's the arm of Tevez, isn't it? Was he trying to do a Maradona? <laughs> Here's Sahar. Griffin. Here's Miller. Matt Oakley. Blocked by Vidic. Saha, Griffin, now Miller, Peacock, and a drag it back for Claude Davis, here's Griffin, Davis, Fletcher. Leacock snapping away at him. Here's Tevez. Vidic. Rooney. Tevez. Rooney made a great run there and it was fortunate for Derby. But Davis closed it down. Miller. Oakley. Here's Griffin. Oakley. Now Teal. Tyrone Mears has stolen here. And is it over? It's been given. Derby have their first goal on the road in the league this season. And Steve Howard has his first goal in the Premier League. And at last in the rain, something for the Derby fans to celebrate. Well, it was an error of judgment from Van der Sar. And absolutely no need to come off his line. Found himself in no man's land. Great ball from Teal. Around Edra finds Mears. I'm not quite sure how Howard actually got that in, but it hit some part of his body. And despite the despairing dive of Vidic trying to get back off the line, it was clearly in. Well, Steve Howard won't care which part of his body it struck. It may have been a hand, actually, or an arm. But the record books will show that Howard has a goal and that Derby had their first away goal in the Premier League since May 2002. Oh, Rooney coming in here. Well, Mears was very much in evidence a minute ago at the other end, making a goal for Howard. And on this occasion, at the back post, he's prevented Wayne Rooney from scoring. Good defending from the fullback. The ball was clearly deflected, but made it very difficult for him to deal with. But he was brave and he got his body in there to prevent Rooney from scoring. Vidic was going away from goal anyway, but Derby complete the clearance. Now can they improve their day still further? Still just under quarter of an hour left here at Old Trafford. It's been overrun by Pearson. Steve Howard, who might now be regarded as a fellow Scot of Sir Alec Ferguson, having declared his international allegiance there. Great ball from Teal with the outside of his right foot. 
can't understand what Van der Sar is doing. Gets himself into a really bad position. Despite the close attention of Wes Brown, Howard forces it over the, towards the goal. And Vinic, desperate clearance. He tried to claim that it wasn't over the line, but it was well over, wasn't it? So, not an entirely doom-laden day for Derby County after all. Some place to break their duck. Here's Miller. Howard. It's fallen here for Matt Oakley. It's Teal's ball across this time. Van der Sar holds on. Suddenly, Derby picked things up magnificently. You can only applaud their determination, can't you? So early in the second half, having conceded that third goal, I looked at the clock, got half an hour to go. It's going to be a long half an hour for Derby. But they've stuck to it, they've worked, and they've got their reward, their first away goal of the season, and credit to them and their management team. Here's Fletcher. Carrick, now Sahar, in steps Mears, Miller, Howard, Kenny Miller, Away by John O'Shea, Tevez is offside, he shouldn't have been offside, just caught ambling back was Tevez, so close to the halfway line, should have been in an onside position. That would have given him the chance to run in behind Davis. And the mood has changed dramatically. You wouldn't think they were losing. But the goal's the breakthrough that certainly the Derby fans wanted. And it engineers hope here for Paul Jewell as well. But there is something to be tapped into as Derby look to fight to get away from the bottom of the table. Middlesbrough at home next, and then Newcastle away. A couple of vital games coming up in the battle for survival. They started the day two wins short of the safety line, Derby. Here's Vidic. Sahar. Now Carlos Tevez. Sahar. Tevez, Carrick, here's Evra, Rooney, Leacock, Mears, Foul. That goal scored by Steve Howard, only the second that Manchester United have let in here in the league this season. Jeremy Aliadier shocked them in the match against Middlesbrough. They won that one handsomely enough in the end. United's defenders, though, for all their qualities prone to switch off from time to time he's just given the uh, majority of this 75 and a half thousand crowd at Old Trafford a little bit more to be concerned about in the last 10 minutes here's Ronaldo O'Shea Fletcher.
Brown. Back by Tevez. Here's Brown. Fletcher. It's Carrick. Mears with the header away. Now Ebra. Tevez. Sahar. Tevez. This is Brown. It's Rooney's header. Now Ebra. Sahar. Rooney. Eric moving it back. Vidic having to hold off Stephen Howard. Here's Ebra. It's definitely become more and more difficult to pitch, hasn't it? The rain has not stopped throughout this game, and the centre of the field now is just starting to hold up. They're going to pass the ball even more firmly than they were at the start of the game. Here's Ronaldo. Carrick. Ronaldo, Everest free to his left. Struck against him by Mears, but uh, ricochets wide. That was another example of the ball not reaching Evra. On any other day, that would have been a nicely weighted pass for Evra. But it held up and it gave Mears the chance to get the challenge in. Three goals already, though, for United. Giggs with the first. And Tevez has added the other two. The first after a horrible miss kick from which he recovered. The second in the second half appeared to kill Derby off once and for all. But at least Stephen Howard's goal has shown that they're not entirely dead yet. Here's Leacock. Carrick, Sahar. Nice touch to Tevez. Overhit though for Ronaldo. Here's Griffin. Rooney. Here's Vidic. And by Fletcher, away by Griffin. And Ronaldo has escaped from more, has he? No. I think Darren Moore enjoyed that little slide there, but I think he's going to find himself going into the book. He's just delayed the taking of the free kick while he at least has words with him. Well, I felt sure that he was uh, going for his yellow card, but uh, he's changed his mind. Thought, thought twice about the conditions, obviously. Well done, Chris Foy. Here's Tevez. Ronaldo. Oh. His feet are so quick. You know what he's going to do, but trying to stop him is another matter. Wants to get this onto his right foot, just look quickly he moves that ball. If that had been on target, I don't think Bywater would have stood a chance of stopping it. He really does get hold of this, but the accuracy on this occasion is not quite there. It's already deciding to try and beat the uh, traffic here and the Christmas traffic from the nearby Trafford Centre.
Here's Moore. Howard. Fletcher. Now O'Shea, Ronaldo. Here's O'Shea. Now Fletcher. Tevez. Rooney. John O'Shea. As Fletcher takes it away from Pearson. Sahar. Corner. Here's Ronaldo. Struck against Moore. Away by Mears. Pearson. Now Leacock. Oakley. Griffin. Griffin. So you're looking for Kenny Miller. Oakley. Mears. Pearson. There's Kenny Miller. I think this is the longest period in the game that Derby have kept possession of the ball. Ironic olays from their supporters. But once again, I repeat, they've got to be given credit because they've stuck to their task very well throughout this game. And that will have pleased Paul Jill and Stan Turnant. Well, there'll be three added minutes. Three minutes and it's time. Here's Brown. Carrick looking through the middle for Ronaldo. Can he round it off with a fourth? Sahar's over to his left. He's gone down. He gets the penalty. Well, I mentioned he's got such quick feet. And they were very much in evidence again here. You just cannot go near him in the box. He invites the challenge all the time, and the referee, Chris Foy, was up with play. And he's given the penalty for Manchester United. What's the challenge there? Well, he actually puts his leg, doesn't he, Ronaldo, into Mears. Does it so cleverly. Wins the penalty. Some would say it's wrong. He's got away with it, and now he's got the chance to get another goal. Well, Tevez offered his services to complete his hat-trick, but the man who's won the penalty will take it. Ronaldo! A cheeky step-up, but no Manchester United scoring performance at the moment would be complete without a goal from Cristiano Ronaldo. Manchester United's goal, score number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo! Great example where to take a penalty, just checks his run, waiting for Bywater to make the first move. And then he side foots it with such accuracy and power into that corner. Looks so easy, doesn't it, when the keeper goes the wrong way. Ronaldo has got his deserved goal of the afternoon. Well, Ronaldo, who was...
was uh, booked when he tried to uh, win a penalty, a more justified claim against Fulham than the one he has just won. Gets a little fortunate with the spot kick he's been awarded today, but makes the most of his good fortune. I'm talking of good fortune, I think uh, Chris Foy has given John O'Shea a little bit of good fortune here because that was clearly a cynical foul to uh, stop the run of Kenny Miller. And that could so easily have been a yellow card. Probably should have been. Can Derby double their money in terms of goals here? Struck by Oakley. And well off the target. Well, Manchester United warm up for their visit to Liverpool with a win, Ryan Giggs notching up his 100th league goal for Manchester United Carlos Tevez adding two and despite Derby's pick-me-up of their first goal on the road in the league this season from Steve Howard it was all rounded off by a Cristiano Ronaldo penalty Tevez being denied his hat-trick when Ronaldo, having won the penalty decided that he was the man to take it Manchester United 4, Derby 1 Just looking down below, Nanny's actually come out to warm up and he's the only sub at this moment who's warming up. I don't know if this is significant. Well, this is normally the kind of game in which uh, Manchester United might contemplate resting Ryan Giggs, but of course the luxury of having already qualified for the Champions League meant that this match took more of a priority. I just wonder if they have got another injury concern here. This is Giggs, now Evra. Giggs, isolated by Oakley, past him. The shake off Fagan now, he's pulled it back to Ebra. Tevez, Brown, away in the end by Davis. United starting to carry a real air of menace about them. And Pearson's in trouble, Tevez. Can't take chances, can they? Well, it was a bit of careless play from Stephen Pearson near to his byline, giving possession away carelessly to Tevez. And he's got the ball here under control. Safety first, that should be out for a throw. He loses possession. Uh, Tevez had seen Ronaldo at the far post. Maybe he did. Perhaps the cross was slightly overweighted. But if it had been more precise, that surely would have been number one for United. Ronaldo in the sort of form that he's been of late. Played seven, lost seven against Manchester United as the manager so far for Paul Jewell. Is that record about to change today? injury that's been troubling Edwin van der Sar this season he's been uh, substituted in three of the 18 matches he's played United going with him today presumably aware that uh, Thomas Kuszczak will play in the Champions League in midweek and it looks as though uh, Sir Alec Ferguson will give uh, one or two of United's youngsters the opportunity to get some European experience under their belts Ferdinand. Ronaldo struck by Fagan against his own teammate Oakley. It broke for Miller. Won back by Anderson. Tevez slid in well. Finds Evra. 
Anderson. Hopefully attempting to hold him up. Ruby's headed down. No one in support. Pearson. Barnes. McEverly. Here's Davis. Carrick breaks back off Rooney to Anderson now Carrick Tevez Ronaldo Rooney Couldn't get the return right Carrick that's where Miller's got a job to do as a lone striker he's got to get a hold of that football when it comes in that area Here's Giggs, plays in Ronaldo, Rooney! Well, the Cavalier came across the front of him with an absolutely vital tackle and somehow it stayed out. Anderson, angle too acute. Well, that looked like a goal written all over it from the moment that Kenny Miller lost possession to Vidic. Giggs plays it for Ronaldo, puts it into Wayne Rooney, and you think that's a goal. And what a challenge that was for the Cavalier. Absolutely top class from the fullback to deny Wayne Rooney the opening goal. Well, Bywater keeping it out in the end, but a player who played alongside Wayne Rooney at school's level in Liverpool, where they grew up together, Jay McEverly, was primarily responsible then for fending him off. The challenge was absolutely outstanding, Rob, but you have to say that Wayne Rooney was favourite when that ball was played in for Ronaldo. And he'll be bitterly disappointed that he didn't get that first touch to put into the empty net. That should have been a goal for United. Oakley. Now Leacock. Moore. Oakley. Anderson. Eric penalised. but uh, the pitch ensures otherwise. Brown's header, Ronaldo. McEverly. Pearson. Barnes. Oakley. Came off Vidic, but awkwardly. Well, he got fortunate there, but it's didn't he? Because he stuck a leg out, and the ball deflected very kindly into the hands of his goalkeeper. Here's Ferdinand. Oakley went across to close him down. Now Carrick. Ebra. Ronaldo. And a free kick out of Leacock. Well, there were complaints there from Leacock and Davis, but um, the quick feet of Ronaldo certainly drew the foul from Lee from Leacock. Well, did he draw the foul? I'm not so sure there's any contact. But he filled me, and uh, I think Ronaldo filled the referee, Chris Foy, on that occasion. It's a long way out. 
that's not likely to deter Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> Bywater stood rooted. Well, I think Bywater thinks this is going to clear the bar by distance. And at the last second, it just watched the dip on this ball. Didn't miss by much. The goalkeeper uh, got away with his judgment in the end, but it did uh, arc significantly. There's Claude Davis's header. Here's Vidic. It's a foul by Barnes. I do feel that the referee, Chris Foy, has taken into consideration very much the conditions, because on any other day, I think that would have been the first yellow card of this game. A late challenge from Giles Barnes on Vidic. He was here a month ago, uh, Chris Foy, for Manchester United's win over Blackburn when he, he did send off David Dunn. But he's uh, making a point of explanation here to Craig Fagan. And you do sense that uh, Fagan is now on the last warning. Here's Rio Ferdinand. Tevez. Brown. Ronaldo. Fagan. Anderson jostling with Oakley for possession. Moore got a clear. Now Evra. It's tight for Rooney. Too tight. Barnes being held back. Good play from Giles Barnes, clipped the ball over the head of Vidic, forcing the free kick, definite tug of the shirt from Vidic. Giles Barnes took the free kick himself. Barnes's delivery, too long for everybody, including uh, Claude Davis. Tevez. Here's Ronaldo. Struck against Claude Davis just as Rooney had taken up a position. Here's Tevez. Now Carrick. Evra gets there. Rooney. Evra. Cleared by Leacock. Oakley. And Michael Carrick, Evra giving chase to try and keep it in, but ultimately in vain. He's not been extended as full as he might have been by Walter, but this was key. This is the best chance of the game. Nobody in the stadium can quite believe that United don't take the lead here. Rooney thought it was a formality just to put the ball into the back of the net. But he didn't legislate for the challenge of McEverly. Here is McEverly. Given away to Carrick. Rooney. Davis goes straight into Wayne Rooney and we are going to have the first caution of the game. Well, there have been one or two doubts prior to this about should it have been a yellow card or shouldn't it have been. On this occasion, it was a straightforward, easy decision for Chris Foy.
blatant obstruction from Claude Davis to thwart Wayne Rooney as he just knocks the ball around him into the space, just takes him out, quite cynical. Giggs is Anderson. Tevez. And North Griffin. Giggs pulls it across for Wayne Rooney. Cleared by Leacock. Tevez goes for it, can't convert. Giggs. by Oakland. The derby got away with that, they got caught cold there. Quick thinking from Ryan Giggs. Great vision is from Ryan Giggs, picks out Wayne Rooney. The outside his right foot, helps it to the back post. Not a great clearance from Leacott to the feet of Tevez, but he was off balance and couldn't get his shot away on the volley. than a third of the way through the game and Derby holding their own. Carrick. Here's Ronaldo. Rooney. Here's Davis. Oakley. Ferdinand is Ronaldo Brown. Because of the surface water on the on the pitch, Rob, the, the ball is not zipping around. And it doesn't uh, really help Manchester United as the home side. They're having to sort of push everything a little bit firmer to get the ball to roll quickly. It's certainly holding up. Well, sometimes these games aren't the walkovers that might be expected. I remember a few seasons ago when uh, Sunderland, who were then the whipping boys of the Premier League, came here towards the end of the season and under caretaker manager Kevin Ball held out for a nil-nil. A great result for Derby, a nil-nil would be here today. Long way to go yet, though. McKevin. Here's Barnes. Pearson's got into the middle, so too Fagan. Fagan climbs and Pearson... A little hole just in behind the front player, Kenny Miller, is where Giles Barnes is operating. And it's a difficult position for a United player to pick him up, and you do feel that Derby have got to get much more of the ball to him. He picks out Fagan at the back post here, out jumps Evra. And Pearson, who got into the box, was always stretching and couldn't get his left foot volley on target. Evra. Anderson. Good run, and it's Giggs. Anderson, the challenge, Tevez. Well, that's much better attacking play from Manchester United. Great run this from Anderson. Lovely pick out, finds Giggs, who gives it back to Anderson. Good block there from Darren Moore, forced to Tevez with his left foot, trying to direct it into the far corner. Got a little bit too central. But at least Bywater has been forced into a save. Vidic aiming one long for Rooney. Griffin. Moore. 
نلعب ويز براون Now Carrick, Giggs, back by Fagan to Darren Moore. Well, after the drop points at Bolton, Manchester United won't run the risk of losing further ground on Arsenal. So it was to have been an unchanged team from the side that defeated Fulham. But Owen Hargreaves got injured in the warm-up, so Michael Carrick comes in. With Ronaldo firing on all cylinders, Tevez and Rooney are getting back into their stride after the England man's layoff. And there's not even a rest for Ryan Giggs. The fact that United are already in the knockout phase of the Champions League means United can rest a few in Rome on Wednesday. Paul Jewell's second selection for Derby shows two changes from his first. Gary Teal, who played under Jewell at Wigan, is left out with Craig Fagan returning three days short of his 25th birthday. The introduction of a holding midfielder in Dean Leacock means no place for Steve Howard and a lone striking role for Kenny Miller, Derby's only scorer since the end of August. Final checks from the match official. It's hardly May weather in Ricky Hatton's home city for what might be termed a very unequal contest. The Premier League heavyweights of Manchester United against, so far, the lightweights in this division of Derby County. But will it be as easy as it looks on paper? Certainly on the surface, it looks uh, very difficult here. We've seen surface water kicking up from Michael Carrick's early touches and just as Jay McEverly cleared that. The pitch here may well play a part, you know. It's back by Claude Davis. That was Nemanja Vidic's header. And now Jay McEverly to Dean Leacock. The last thing that Derby will need here is to get United's tails up by gifting them an early goal. And it's a day for defenders to be extra cautious. You're never quite sure whether back passes are going to carry. There's Andy Griffin, Tevez going in to close him down. Edwin van der Sar, who is one of those sometimes rested by the Manchester United manager on days like this. He has been carrying a nagging injury problem. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. Now Wes Brown. The clearance by Leacock. From McEverly away. Anderson just trying to block off Craig Fagan. He does well to retain it, and finds here Andy Griffith. This is Barnes. Now Griffin. Here's Leacock. This is Kenny Miller. Now Stephen Pearson, who started wide. Hit a clear by Rio Ferdinand, finding Wayne Rooney. And are we now to see the first United surge? He benches Juan Tevez, but he didn't quite get it right offside. Well, that's an example there of Derby on the attack and vacating the centre of midfield. United win possession, quickly break, and you can see there that Tevez times his run really well. It's a wrong decision, played in by Rooney. Derby with three white shirts there, couldn't stop the run of Tevez, but the linesman, I'm afraid, got that wrong. Well, the movement of these players is so clever, it does deceive even the most experienced of officials, and Bob Pollock there, clearly caught out by the movement of Carlos Tevez. Here's Andy Griffin with the throw for Derby. Now Fagan. He put his cross away and it's cleared by Wes Brown. This is Jay McEverly. Now Barnes, it's Pearson's ball in, it's cleared by Michael Carrick. Stephen Pearson, the man whose goal got Derby into this division. The question now is, can they stay here? Davis and Moore have come forward from the back. 
And it's Barnes's corner, which Miller let run, and Carrick concedes another. Well, Derby have yet to score away from home this season, and uh, one of the areas you do feel they can cause a problem is set pieces. Two big lads, Moore and Davis, as you mentioned, have gone forward, but they need a better service than what they've just got there from Giles Barnes. The quality has got to be good on this second corner. Barnes with the corner again. Van der Sar has to get fists to that. It's McEverly. Rooney looking to break with it, and it was a relief for Derby that Fagan managed to hold him off there. Andy Griffin, the last man back. Patrice Ebra, who was substituted through illness on Monday night here against Fulham. I feel like a theatre of dreams on a day like this. Could be a theatre of nightmares for Paul Jewell. Certainly his worst nightmare, perhaps, when he looked at the fixture list on taking over and saw that the second game up was here. Anything from this game, a bonus for the new Derby boss. Lovely drag back from Ronaldo, this is Wes Brown. United getting into their stride with Anderson. Moore turns it behind for the corner. Just saw a glimpse there of the delightful football United are capable of playing. Great interchange between Brown and a lovely back heel from Ronaldo and Anderson making a typical surging run from the centre of the park. Ryan Giggs with a corner. Ferdinand heading it away from goal. Certainly, Fernand makes the run and gets away in front of Darren Moore. Just gets a little bit too much purchase on the header. Obviously, a planned move that. The corner played into that near post area from Ryan Giggs. The real Fernand will be slightly disappointed that he didn't make better use of that corner. Header on by Kenny Miller. Here's Ferdinand. Now Anderson. Now Vidic. Wayne Rooney. Rooney appealing that there was use of the hand. Here's Oakley. Now Fagan, Leacock, Griffin, way by Vidic, back by Pearson, now Leacock. Griffin just trying to slide in Craig Fagan, but Evera had that run covered. Cleared by Vidic. Moore just held off a little. Davis got it back, but uh, Tevez caught Darren Moore then. Well, Claude Davis was quick to uh, cover around for his central defensive partner because Darren Moore got caught in possession. But that's clearly a foul from behind by Tevez on Darren Moore to relieve a little bit of the pressure. Just a word about Derby. We fully anticipated that uh, Giles Barnes would play on the left hand side in the five man midfield. But he's actually playing just in off the front. Pearson's operating on the left hand side of midfield. Vidic concedes the throw. Griffin to take. Now Barnes. It's Griffin's ball in. Cleared by Vidic. Clear use of the hand by Anderson. Vidic. 
here's Giles Barnes with a free kick. Phil Jewell, who's uh, first major cup final as a manager, was a Carling Cup defeat to Manchester United. Here's Evra. Anderson. Anderson. Carrick. Anderson. Here's Evra. Ronaldo. Fagan gets it clear, but it doesn't run to Miller. But it sees to that. Did the first part of the equation well, dispossessing uh, Ronaldo, but then should have given it to Oakley. Just struck it into an advanced area, but gave possession straight back to Manchester United. No nonsense challenge by Griffin, but the referee, who was only a matter of yards away, allows it to run. He didn't feel everywhere had been fouled. He's a no-nonsense defender, Andy Griffin. Here's Ronaldo, running at Griffin, who's got Rooney to worry about as well. Pull back for Wes Brown. Tevez. Heavily wary of the challenge in the area. Here's Carrick. Tevez. More stretching. Davis away. Tevez managed to get in behind McKevely on that occasion, but still Derby keep United at bay. Brown on the overlap, Tevez looks inside to Carrick. Pearson cuts out the return. McKevely tries to play his way out of trouble, and Giggs nicks it back. Leacock, and away in the end by Oakley, but only to Anderson. Just from Ronaldo, Anderson. Here's Evra. Faced by Fagan, he's passed him. Ronaldo. Good strike, Giggs! A landmark goal for Ryan Giggs, his 100th in the league for Manchester United. Well, Manchester United in the last five minutes have really turned up the heat. The goal was coming. As you'd expect, Cristiano Ronaldo very much involved. Everett does well here, gets it behind Fagan. Gets the ball to Ronaldo, who's given a little bit too much space here. He's always wanting to come onto his right foot. Darren Moore has got to get closer to him, allows him to get the shot away. It's a terrific shot. All you can ask for is hit the target, he does that, makes Bywater make the save, and Ryan Giggs, anticipating well, follows the ball in, and it drops to him, and he puts it back into the net to give Manchester United the lead. His first Premier League goal here at Old Trafford for some 15 months. But for a player who uh, predates the Premier League, it's a century in league football, and all of his league appearances have occurred for this club, Ryan Giggs. And that's a magnificent achievement. Here's Tevez. Brown. Carrick. Ronaldo. Brown. Here's Evra. Leacock. Giggs. Davis hesitated. He's in. Wayne Rooney. No! It was an open invitation and somehow Rooney passed it up. 
Ronaldo. Anderson. Yeah, away from Rooney this time, but he must still be ruining that last miss. Glorious ball, wasn't it, from Ryan Giggs. Great control from Wayne Rooney in behind Davis. One on one, goes around by water, then just lifts it over the keeper. Back off the upright. And Davis makes the clearance. Well, he's had two great opportunities this afternoon, Wayne Rooney. Hasn't yet scored, but the threat is always there. Yeah, a smile after the miss that I'm not sure would have been that wide had United not already made the breakthrough, thanks to Giggs. Thomas left grounded by Moore's challenge, but nothing coming out of that from the referee. Here's Rooney. He was fouled by Moore. I think the first challenge from Big Darren Moore was more of a free kick than the second one. He certainly clattered into Tevez. This is the one on one. Wayne Rooney lifts it over by water. Once again, an opportunity for Ronaldo to test the goalkeeper on this difficult surface. Ronaldo plays it in. Tevez, miss kick, not the second time though, 2-0! Well, just when everyone expected a blockbuster from Cristiano Ronaldo, he filled everyone, including the Derby defence. But that was very poor defending from Derby. They had the opportunity to clear here. Here comes the ball, low trajectory, into the box. This is when it should have been cleared. I think it was Griffin who went to ground. And how lucky is Tevez? Air shot, he misses his first opportunity, totally misses the ball. Griffin goes to ground and he gets the second opportunity and he's not going to turn that down. One-on-one -on -one against Bywater with his left foot, plenty of the goal to put it into, and Tevez makes it 2-0. After a good first 40 minutes, it all goes pear-shaped for Paul Jewell in the last five minutes and a half, and there'll be two more minutes. That's what's been added on. Here's Brown. Now Ronaldo. Ferdinand. Vidic. Here's Carrick. Now Brown. Rooney. Anderson, here's Tevez, Ronaldo, and Griffin. Good defending this from uh, Griffin, gets his body across Ronaldo, he actually read the intentions of Cristiano Ronaldo, and the referee there realising that Ronaldo was guilty of a little bit of pushing to try and win possession back, gave a free kick. A much needed free kick to Derby, may I add, to relieve a little bit of pressure just before the half time interval. Well, a stolen march, ever got it away. Not very far away from Leacock, who stuck out a hopeful leg, kept in there by Ronaldo. Here's Griffin. McEvely. Turning away from Ronaldo. Not the ball that Kenny Miller desired. Here's Vidic. 
Kovacic. Ferdinand. Where's Brand? Carrick. There's Ronaldo. Michael Carrick, who wasn't expecting to start today. He was left out of the initial starting lineup, but the injury to Owen Hargreaves meant a late call up. Here's Ebra. Now Tevez. Ebra given license to get forward. Rooney. Once again, another little giving go between Ebra and Tevez. One touch football. Ebra gets in behind. Delivers it early to the near post on the volley. Wayne Rooney just trying to help it on. Couldn't direct it towards goal. Hands getting protection against the elements. Wayne Rooney, it's the feet that need extra protection after the metatarsal problems he's had in recent times. The good news for Manchester United is that he's uh, put his recent injury woes behind him, Wayne Rooney. That uh, partnership with Tevez is looking a very promising one. Leacock, now Kenny Miller. Fagan. A bit short for Carrick, Oakley stole it. Here's Pearson, Miller, Barnes. Barnes got his shot away. You never know on a day like this. With a crack from Giles Barnes, you never know if a ball is going to slip from the goalkeeper's grasp. Well, he's more than capable of striking a good ball, Giles Barnes, but on this occasion, being closed down from Anderson, couldn't get sufficient power on his shot. Hits it with his right foot. Actually takes a slight deflection off Anderson, takes the pace off it. Anderson not to be embarrassed. McEvely just awaiting the move forward of Darren Moore before delivering with this free kick. Which is uh, comfortably cleared by Carrick. McEvely going for it again. Oakley's header. Pearson got in front of Carrick. Space for McEvely to move into. It's Jay McEvely. Again, the side made sure his body was behind him. I think Derby would be quite pleased the way they've started. Plenty of space in the centre of the park for McEvely to take the ball on a few yards and strike it with his left foot. He would be slightly disappointed he didn't test Van der Sar more than what he did. As we mentioned, it's a difficult surface. You need to strike the ball with more power than what McEvely did. Here's Ronaldo. Danger for Derby from Ronaldo. And he can't finish. Well, Ronaldo had the option of giving it to Ever on his left-hand side. But the kind of form that he's been of late, there was never any suggestion he was going to play it to his left-hand side. Saw the whites of the goalposts, struck the ball, but rather snatched at it. Stephen Bywater just watches that as it goes past his post. Cristiano Ronaldo has scored Manchester United's last five league goals. There's Evra. Stephen Bywater, who's had some horrific experiences on the road this season. He conceded six at Anfield, five at the Emirates. Pittich's header, now Leacock. Anderson's header, now Carrick, this is Tevez. Charged by Leacock, on the ball. Ronaldo, Carrick. Ronaldo. Rooney's touch, and was gets fouled, he was, by Davis. Well, Davis pleases innocence, I'm not sure if that was intentional, but it certainly did the trick, as it stopped the run of uh, Ryan Giggs. Once again, Ronaldo plays into the feet of Rooney. He knows exactly what he wants to do with it, trying to pick up the run of Giggs. Well, Davis, having pleaded his innocence, now has to watch and hope, probably pray, with Giggs and Ronaldo showing an interest.
Well, what weaponry to have from this situation. Ronaldo or Giggs, what a choice. It's Giggs! It's a... well, Stephen Bywater makes the dive, but I think he was fully aware that the ball was never really going to threaten the goal. Leacock. Pearson. Kevin has given it away. That's Carrick. He's bent it round. Great idea. Griffin got in the way. His clearance might land for Ronaldo. He's happy to take the corner. That was great vision from Michael Carrick. Trying to play the ball in behind Griffin for Wayne Rooney. Previous corner, we saw Ryan Giggs playing into the near post area. Plan set piece looking for the run of Real Fernand, who actually got his head to it. Better clear by Davis. Fagan hasn't dealt with it. It's Wayne Rooney. Deflected. Over. Excellent block from Darren Moore. But not great defensive work from Craig Fagan on the edge of the box. Miscontrol, then a weak challenge, allowing Rooney to get the shot away. And Darren Moore comes out and gets a great block in with his left leg. Moore came to Fagan's aid. And Manchester United are cranking up the pressure here. And Derby having survived the first quarter of an hour. McEverly gets this corner away, that's Carrick back out to Giggs. Lofted in for Vidic. Ferdinand, Vidic again. Davis saw enough of that to clear. Here's Anderson. It's come off McEverly. The shirt pulling. And Derby have got a free kick. one and a half dozen of the other well I think the assistant referee didn't actually see Craig Fagan making the initial shirt pull he saw the second one from Anderson and Fagan and gave a free kick in favour of Derby Brown here's McEvely Pearson now Barnes. Griffin. 